good morning students uh, i wish to ask you a question now you are able to understand english you can read and write you can do everything but uh, you find it very difficult to uh, communicate in english with someone do you know the reason why most of us find it very difficult to interact with someone in english but what could be the reason behind this let me tell you if you want to be fluent in english you must learn three important things the first one is you should develop your vocabulary so vocabulary plays a, a vital role in speaking english without having adequate vocabulary it is highly impossible for us to speak in english if you used to say something in english you must have good vocabulary skills only then you can express your feelings and thoughts in english very clearly and the second one is you should be able to frame the sentences correctly in english if you are not able to frame the sentences correctly without your knowledge you could commit certain grammatical mistakes and it will not be nice to uh, hear your english so what you need to do is to learn a little bit of basic uh, grammar and uh, fundamental concept of english grammatical rules which would enable you to frame the sentences once you have learned to frame the sentences then it would be very easy for you to speak in english so this is uh, second one the third one practice practice makes a perfect so without uh, adequate practice it is highly impossible for us to speak english fluently so practice makes a man perfect so all you have to do is to uh, practice speaking in english most of the time you, you have to try to speak only in english with your friends with your colleagues and with your family members you, mu you must always try to speak only in english with someone only then you will be able to uh, communicate in english very fluently so you have to remember all these three things the first one is you should develop your uh, vocabulary skills the second one is you must learn basic english grammar rules the third one is practice so these are the three important things that you must bear in your mind on after you have gained uh, enough uh, skills and knowledge in these three areas i am sure that you will be able to speak fluent english so all you need to do is to improve your vocabulary so what you have to do is to read a lot by means of uh, reading listening you can improve your vocabulary skills and then try to frame some sentences with the help of the vocabulary which you have already learned the third one is practice 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 is the only way uh, to be fluent in english you should always try to speak only in english most of the time by means of talking like this you can get rid of your fear and hesitation and you can express your feelings and thoughts very easily without any difficulties and hardship so these are all some important things that you must bear in your mind uh, to become a fluent speaker in english so vocabulary uh, foundation i mean that uh, basic english grammar and then practice so all these three things are quite essential uh, to be fluent in english and without framing the sentences you can't talk or you can't um, write so if you want to be well versed in communication the only thing is practice 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 this is the only uh, key to success so i have given you three important uh, tips and i want you to follow this if you follow this i'm sure that you will be able to become a fluent speaker in english within very short period of time so i hope that uh, all these three uh, tips uh, must have uh, been very useful uh, for you and i want you to follow this uh, Uh, three important um, tips and i am sure that uh, you can find excellent improvement day by day thank you so much for uh, uh, having listened my video